Welcome to The Loft Project, Michael Kaki here with you. Hey, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new thing from Hillsong United, Empires. This album is huge. It's got 12 tracks on it. It's anthemic, it's massive in its sound, lyrically written so deep, and uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. It really does take you into the heart of, uh, of worship and uh, to the heart of God. This album has a real similar feel to Zion. It's, um, it's beautiful in its sound, but I feel like they've taken it deeper into the use of, of synths and pads and giving you that more anthemic kind of feel, that stadium sound. And the first thing I had to really sort out was that, you know what, this is, this is Hillsong United 21st century. This is not Hillsong United of old, where they're releasing tracks like Break Free and Take It All and things like that. They're really discovering and exploring a new avenue of worship and uh, until I could kind of get my brain figuring that out, uh, I could then start to appreciate this album for what it is. Now let's talk lyrics. Joel Houston and the team are known for their very in-depth and incredible lyrics. This album did not disappoint in that regard. I mean, let's just say, for this example, uh, Love Came Like Madness poured out in blood wash romance. What is that? That is incredible. I mean, how do you create that? Or from the, I touch the sky when my knees hit the ground. Like that is such a cool line. So deep and meaningful and just incredible, you know? Like you're left going, wow, that's epic. Um, in saying that, I mean, the lyrics are written amazingly, right? But they're really hard to hear on the album in each song. That You might get a bit of a snippet of a line or a verse or a chorus or something like that. But for the most part, uh, the synths and the sounds of the whole album is just taken up and, and, the, and the lyrics are, and the words and vocals are just kind of hidden just underneath it. So it kind of leads me to believe that these songs were written for you to enter in and for you to have the words spoken over you. Uh, and you might get a glimpse of and it might get a, a, you know, a great line of holy holy or something like that, you know. Uh, but it is not really written, I guess, for you to, to, to sing every single word in line, but to just hear them and let it, and let it you know, impact you. This album starts like a spaceship taking off and you know, it rockets to the sky and it takes your heart and your worship with you and uh, for that 60 minutes, for those first 10 tracks, you are just soaring with angels, you are up there and it is, it is actually quite powerful. And then in the last two, I mean the last two tracks are probably the most beautiful songs. I mean the last one, Closer Than You Know, it's just this beautiful conversation between you and Jesus and it's literally written that way. Taya Smith features in it and just smashes out and belts out tune and she's incredible, right? Uh, but this, this song really is a beautiful moment between you and Christ. The picks, uh, track one, Here Now, is awesome. You're gonna love track one. Uh, track five, obviously, Touch the Sky is uh, one of the one of the picks there. I really like track nine, Empires. Uh, what the album is all about. Have a look at look at that one. But my absolute favourite is gonna be track ten because uh, I mean that just takes off. There's a little bit of edge in there, a little bit of grunt, and it, it's kind of beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely a fan of the album. Check it out if you haven't already. Hillsongunited.com is where you can get some more information. Weekdays you can hang out with me on 99.7 Rima FM on the drive show, 3 to 6 p.m. weekdays. You can request Touch the Sky and I'll get it on there for you on the air. So tune in at uh, Rima FM right here in Newcastle. This has been Michael Kiaki for The Loft Project. See you next time.